Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back once again, it is day 67 here on season 3 and we're switching things up a little today, we are not just running straight back into another raid, we are going to be doing some other stuff instead. Why can I not hear? There we go. That's better. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do some training and I think I'm just gonna run back a few old classics on the training front. So I'm going to start off by cannoning some green dragons today. That's just what I fancy doing today. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm probably just going to do whatever I feel like on any given day. Run back some old classics that we've come to know and love over the course of the series. And some that we haven't done for a while like green dragons here. But it's still a classic there. Yeah, we should have some fun just reliving memories here as we get deeper into the series. I don't know how many cannonballs I actually need. I don't feel like it's that many for one day because I'm only really planning on doing one day of, of this and then moving to something else. Did I get that black DI? I did and I put it on. Okay, do we have a rune crossbow? We do. Do we have any decent bolts for it? Wait, we have a dragon crossbow. No, 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 we're going will do. We want the rune. I guess we can have a couple items worth of risk, can't we? So, but I don't think there's any need to necessarily. Like, we'll be fine without, won't we? That looks alright. What's our risk here? Two mil, because it's in my inventory. Yeah, nothing. Cool. And we might want, what, a prayer port, just in case. A ranged port, just in case. Well, not just in case, but for sure. Dueling rings and a looting bag. And the cannon itself, which I'm going to go get from Nelodeon, because it will be cheaper. And we'll actually end up making a bit of profit just from buying and selling it when we are done. Yeah, I'm going to keep the dragon bones I get today and send them towards that 72 prayer. Because if we can get that as well, it will be an extra point on the restoration bracket of potions, which would be nice to have. Just a tiny little extra benefit, it's not anything that's going to go crazy for us, but not nothing either. Alright, we have our cannon, we can drop the useless shit, get ourselves to the Ferox Enclave and get on the way. Was I using burning amulets to get there as well? I feel like I was. It's so long since I've done it. And some food. What, well, don't just type food in, Jibs. Actually get food. <laughs> I don't know that we need a lot though, it's more in case a PK comes. I'm just going to run over there, I can't be able to go get a burning amulet. I probably should have looked at the world count before just logging in and going into the wilderness. I kind of just assume that the main servers are dead at the minute because everyone's on dead man. Like if you're a PvPer right now, a PKer, you're not playing a normal game are you? Maybe you are just because you can catch people out like that who are expecting no one to be around. But yeah, I need that burning amulet though, this is a long trip. Holy, my run energy is almost gone. Oh, I should have brought Stam. That's the one thing I'm forgetting in it. You know what? I'm going to put the cannon down and then go get a stamina and a burning amulet from the GE. Oh, I didn't fire it. Dumbass. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Let's. Oh, we still had a burning amulet. Dumb as shit sometimes, are. A bandit camp almost went lava maze then. I'm annoyed that we didn't set the cannon off. Just made the trip out there. Obviously, I'm not going to be 100% efficient here. I'm kind of past the point of caring about efficiency. At this point, no matter how long it takes, it's a decent time. Alright, now we're up and running. Shall I do a long range? Because I do want the defense levels as well. It is a tick slower, but 
We'll be getting so much ranged XP from the cannon, I figure, that we can make up for it. We can probably pray as well, right? Extra damage. I'm not getting very good rates here. Maybe I shouldn't be on long range, but I don't know. These XP rates are not good right now. Maybe I'm just being bad at it as well. Is that? I feel like I've been letting myself get dragged into single a lot when I should be letting the cannon do mullies. But I just keep picking up loot. The kill rate's really fast. The XP rate doesn't seem that hot. We are here for XP. Like, we're not too dual level today or anything, as it stands. Maybe the rate's wrong. I don't know. Let me just reset this. Oh, we need to go to a bank. I don't think being on defensive is the play, unfortunately. Which means we're going to have to get some defense levels elsewhere. Guess maybe we can do scurries for that, but I think we just need to be on rapid here. Get some decent XP. We don't have to get both the ranged and the defense XP together. Obviously, it would be nice to, but without the disposable income to really be able to afford a reasonable amount of chin chompers, it's seeming more likely that we'll get our ranged and our defense separately. It's still not feeling great XP-wise, though. I feel like we'd have better rates just going to scurry us and on short, but was it always this bad? Like, I guess we were doing it for buns as well, but I feel like it was way better than this. I think I'm going to do one more trip, but honestly, I'm, I might bail after that. I'm not really feeling it. Our XP rates feel like they could be way quicker elsewhere, and ultimately, that is what we're here for. It just seems way slower than I remember it. I mean, we're getting a lot of kills, but not very much XP. And at least we'll have a decent amount of bones built up to take to prayer. I might not do the Vile Moral, or actually, I might do the... Uh, Regular one, the Chaos Altar. It's like I say, the world is kind of quiet at the minute because all the PKs are on Dead Man, right? Okay, I think what I'm actually going to do is... Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to keep track of things that aren't currently in my bank. So it's not counting my looting bag or my invent right now. Yeah, the, the XP may not be that hot, but I think if we build up enough to get 72 prayer, then at least that's another thing that we've done then that will give us a benefit. And we can move on to getting our ranged and defense XP from better rate methods. Okay, so we're still a bit off there. Maybe another trip. We've done three trips so far and we've got 40k XP bank. So like one and a half more trips for a little 72 pro. Ooh, a hard clue. I don't know if it's worth doing them at this stage, but I will pick it up. It wouldn't be one hour limit locked if I didn't get distracted by clues. While training. Oh, that's a bit of a bollock step. I don't particularly want to go do that. Okay, I think we've probably just got one more trip to do here. Lovely stuff. Three sets win. Four sets. Oh, we didn't bring a range pot though. Oh, I cannon broke. I wondered why I wasn't getting any DPS. Yeah, I have a feeling when we were last here, it must have been more for the dragon bones rather than for the ranged XP. And the ranged XP was more of a upside, but we didn't need a great deal of it or something. It's so long since we actually came here that I can't remember, but like even Scurrius is pretty much double this, I think. Unless the range rates are different from the melee rates for some reason, but the melee rates we're getting like 100k an hour, I can't see why we wouldn't be on ranged. Another hard clue. Let's see if this one's any better. Mm, that one's doable. I mean, the other one's doable, it just wasn't a fun stat. I think I'm gonna call it there, because we can't actually pick these up. Unless we just get rid of some shit, I guess. Get the bones. Okay. This should be enough to get us to 72, I think. And we've already got burning amulets. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so all we want is a burning amulet and some dragon bones. And a bit of luck. Hopefully we don't run into any PKs. Hopefully they are, in fact, all on dead man, like I predicted. Maybe it's a good time to do wilderness content, I don't know. I don't know that there's any content that would have rewards worth doing for us at this moment in time given the fact all we really need is XP, and there's a PK right there. Okay, looked like one anyway, unless it was just a guard, like guarding somebody else. I don't want to run into a guy with a volley. Is that guy a PK? No, he's... he's doing bones. <laughs>
There is some PKs still around. You'll have to keep an eye out. That we are just doing one invent at a time, so it's not that bad. This bit's kind of slow, I'm not going to lie. Another PK there. Yeah, they are. It is still active out here. Still active. People, are, like I say, must think... Oh, everyone's gonna think all the PKs are in the dead man world, so I'm gonna PK in the normal world. And all the people who think they're safe. So many mind games with RuneScape. Oh. Someone's on me. Great. Well, there goes that invent. Damn. I hope this doesn't stop us from getting the pro levels. Maybe I should have just taken them to Valamor, but it takes quite a bit to set up all the wine and shit. Quite a bit, just time, and time isn't something we have a great deal of. I don't know if these are going to be enough to get us the rest of the way, though. I don't know if I'm in the right sort of world range, or if those guys are just going to find me again. Yeah, I don't know if we'll get that now. I don't think this invent's going to be enough. Because I gathered, like, exactly how many bones I needed for 72, pretty much. Okay, there are still plenty of PKs at the bone all Damn, that is a shame. It's only about 13k. Oh my gosh, what is my character doing? Alright, I'm just going to go buy an invent of bones. Can't be asked going back to Green Drags. Just for, like, a five minute trip. Like, I'm just going to buy the bones. Okay, last trip, hopefully. <laughs> no more PKs, please. Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> so close! Okay, now we are done. Jesus. I guess we got like 10 minutes, it's not really worth going to try to do Scurious or anything, I don't think. So... I think I'll sell some of the loot we got today, and then maybe go do some burbs and herbs. Guess it's not gonna harm to have a bit of extra money. If we do get our defense up to 75, then we will want to buy a, a serpentine helm. So that is gonna cost a few mil. We will need money for it. So let's just have a look. What did we get? Okay, we got some bones, some random herbs and bits. Mainly the dragon hide. As the profit here. Oh, we got that clue as well. I'm definitely gonna go do that. I got some random gems from tombs, I guess, and some soul runes that I'm not currently using. I may as well sell them too. Uh, sure, they can go up. Don't think there's much else that we have to get rid of. So let's just slap all this up. Okay, a bit of cash back there. What's this clue? Uh, legend skill BLR. Yeah, I may as well just go and see what the next step of this is, right? It's not going to harm. It'll only take a few minutes. Yeah, we'll just get some teleports on us. And a spade. May as well get the farm run stuff as well and just send it straight into a farm run. If the clue fizzles out. Don't know if we need the water, actually. Okay, BLR. And if you ever need to remember what the code for the Legends Guild is and it's not currently telling you, just remember to be... Legendary. Say it like Barney Stinson. Oh, really? You're gonna give me that step again? The one that I dropped? That's a kind of troll. I mean, we can get there. Is it that bad? Am I tripping saying that this is bad when it's not actually that bad? I don't know if we need climbing boots or not. I feel like we might. I'm gonna try it. Because we've got the gommels, right? Yes, we've got gommels. So we can teleport to Trollheim. And from here, we can run up here. Take me about a minute to get here, I reckon. Should have brought stamina, but at least we've got our ring on us. So, uh, not completely dead to energy. But I remember these guys hit pretty hard, so I should pretty melee. This is a puzzle box as well, I think. Just to waste even more of our time. Did I just do that backwards? What an idiot. This where the wizards be. Do we have that? Ooh. What's the Waterbirth Island Dungeon? I can't say I'm a massive fan of that. We can do it, but let me Google it. Just to make sure it's not deep, deep in the dungeon. Immediately after going through the door, which can be passed using a pet rock. 
So we would need a pet rock to get there. How about farming level? I figured I may as well just see if I can get a farm running rather than chasing that clue down when I didn't know exactly where it was at the moment. Always better to just start doing something than have decision paralysis. Man, three dead patches on this run? Assuming that is dead, because we must have run past it at some point. It's kind of lame. Kind of a shit herb run, not gonna lie. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I don't think I'm gonna have much time to do it, mind, but we will just go to Waterbuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna get towards this step. It's not actually that, it's not that bad. So we just need to go get a pet rock from Askeladdin and then we can go in there, get it, and yeah, see what the rest of this clue holds. Hopefully it's not too many more steps, we've got three steps done already, so it's just something that I figured we may as well chase up at the end of the day there. And yeah, let's have a look at the XP tab, we got 86k today, not amazing, I'm not gonna lie, we only got 20k ranged XP, and... A tiny, tiny bit of defense XP doesn't really count. 60k prior is good, I guess. But it was kind of a secondary goal, so... Honestly, not the best day of progress, I, I have to be honest. And we do need to sell the cannon still, so that's going to be an extra mil back on the cash stack, which is nice. But yeah, we didn't get a lot of experience today, and I really would like to push that rate up tomorrow. So I think tomorrow is going to be a ranged scurriest day once we've cracked this clue out. Hopefully, we will get at least one level out of it. Alright, that's going to be it for this one, I think, folks. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. I know the pace has changed a bit here. If there's any methods in particular you want to see me bring back for this last portion of training, or anything new you think might be worth trying, let me know. Maybe I'll give it a go. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any future content, including the end of this series and the next series when that comes out, The Wild West. And RuneScape Party, which is another thing I'm working on. Anyway, enough from me. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.